Before You Sleep is an interesting episode because it brings attention to something that should have been brought to attention to. The contradicting relationships between Applejack and Rarity. This was, from the get-go, something that needed to be addressed. I mean, how can two characters that are so different ever be friends? Friends. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yep, it's one of those episodes. Shipping goggles activate. So we begin in Ponyville Park. Because it has one of those, I don't know. As Rarity and Applejack are getting ready for, um, I don't know what they're doing there. It's never really explained. Also, why is Rarity designing a plant that's gonna be thrown aside anyway? That's like playing arts and crafts on a garbage bag. What's the point? And apparently the weather ponies are getting confused about their jobs. I thought they were supposed to be professional. What happened? And why is Rarity getting freaked out about the rain? Didn't she know it was gonna be raining? We get it! Move on! Yes! Get over there! Yeah! Right. So the shelter problem continues to be a thing. Also, more of... Oh, points for Twilight Logic. Also, what kind of royal business does Spike do? Does he have other uses than companionship and texting for Twilight? Also, this party turned into a threesome. Have you ever had a threesome? Answer my question! Marini's like, no, I cannot be stuck here. Until... All you've ever wanted to know about... No, wait, one more and then I'm done. I guess Applejack can't tame that hose. <laughs> what else, so once Applejack comes in from washing off the chocolate mud, we find that Twilight and Rarity are giving each other mud masks. I mean, spreading it all over their faces, I guess. I don't know how. So as the sexual tension rises, what do these makeovers do? They look exactly the same. Anyway, so now it's time for a ghost story. Can you see how this is the slumber party episode? After a scary story, Ooh, it's so scary you didn't get to hear the whole thing. Continuity. So I'll do some more summing up. S'mores. Truth or dare, but not the sexy kind. Sexual tension. Twilight confused about said sexual tension. This. An apple sack and charity will slowly fall in love. So Twilight's like, fuck this shit, let us sleep. Where did the extra bed come from? Spike sure doesn't sleep in it. Wow, that's mean, Twilight. Rooney and Applejack are sleeping in bed together. Where'd the shipping joke go? Where'd it go? Twilight proclaims, No, you guys ruined sleepover! Then God, I guess, agrees with them and summons this plant thing to challenge their friendship. We see at this point, well, Applejack Kay's first admit that she was wrong about Rarity, using the example of, Oh, Rarity could have seen that branch problem beforehand because she has an eye for these delicate things, and they apologize, they help each other out, best friends forever. <laughs> so even though the idea of bonding two different characters has been done before, what I like about this episode's take is that these interactions were not only needed to be addressed, but charming at times and carry over to other episodes in the series. These two are just adorbs. I meant the pacing felt a little slow at times, but that's all right. The episode wisely uses that to build on its characters in subtle ways. I like it and can appreciate that. Okay, one more time. go slander slander wood slander meyer collect all eight pages eight pages eight pages of wood what 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 is that what is that the fuck just go away in the bathroom oh my goodness what is that what is oh that? my gosh Oh my, oh my gosh! Goodness. What's the what? Rainbow! It's right there! It's right there. What ah! is this? What is oh this? My oh my gosh! gosh. Ah! 